Tires need to be replaced for a variety of reasons. In some instances, a single tire is all that is necessary, but the majority of tires are replaced in sets of two or four. When the inflation pressure is regularly maintained and the tires are rotated every five to seven thousand miles, all four tires will typically be worn evenly and replaced at the end of their service life. Drivers who fail to maintain and rotate their tires often find themselves needing to replace tires on one axle before the tires on the other axle are completely worn. Since the tires are the only part of the vehicle that contacts the road, it is important to consult your tire professional and follow some simple recommendations for consumer tire replacement. One of the most important things to remember is to always follow the information listed on the vehicle's tire information placard, which is typically located on the driver's door, door jam, or in the owner's manual. The tire placard includes information like the tire size and the recommended inflation pressure. The placard may include a load index and speed rating that takes into account a number of factors, including the type of suspension and steering. Stepping down one speed rating can save you a few dollars. However, this could negatively impact handling characteristics and speed capability. Since downgrading the load index will reduce the load carrying capacity of the vehicle, drivers should never install a tire with a load index that is lower than the original equipment tire. In most cases, the best practice is to follow all of the information on the vehicle's placard or in the owner's manual when selecting replacement tires. With the growing interest in vehicle customization, some drivers are interested in selecting custom tire and wheel packages that are different from the information listed on the placard. There are many factors that must be considered when changing from the original equipment size. These factors include load carrying capacity, inflation pressure, overall diameter, and more. Therefore, a tire professional must be consulted for this type of change. If the tire diameter varies significantly from the original dimension, then numerous vehicle systems can be negatively affected. These may include odometer accuracy, braking efficiency, electronic engine or transmission management systems, vehicle stability, and others. Other factors to consider when selecting replacement tires are the Uniform Tire Quality Grading Standards, or UTQG, which is divided into three categories, tread wear, traction, and temperature. Tread wear is a comparative figure that projects the approximate tread life of the tire. However, due to different driving styles, road conditions, and levels of maintenance, it is not a direct indicator of actual tread mileage. Traction refers to the tire's stopping ability on wet asphalt and concrete surfaces. Double A is the best rating, followed by A, B, and then C. Temperature indicates the resistance to heat, with A being the highest rating, followed by B, and then C. Once the proper tire for the vehicle has been selected, the best practice is to replace all four tires at the same time. In fact, on certain all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles, the vehicle manufacturers require all four tires to be replaced so the drivetrains are not damaged. Regardless of the type of vehicle, replacing all four tires at the same time and then maintaining the inflation pressure with regular rotation maximizes tire performance and tread life. However, when drivers fail to maintain or rotate their tires, the tire on one axle may need to be replaced before those on the other axle. If a consumer is replacing only one tire, they should be advised that the new tire should be mounted on the rear and paired with the tire having the most remaining tread depth. While the best practice is to replace all four tires, the most important thing to remember is that when replacing only two tires, you should be advised that the new tires should be installed on the rear of the vehicle. 
If the new tires are installed on the front axle with worn tires on the rear, then the vehicle may be more likely to lose control when turning in wet or slippery conditions. While the front tires with the deepest tread depth grip the road, the rear tires cannot grip at the same level, so the possibility of an oversteer condition may increase as the vehicle turns or changes lanes. When the same vehicle approaches the same curve at the same speed with the deeper tread depth tires on the rear and the worn tires on the front, you may be able to feel the loss of control in the steering wheel and then make the necessary adjustments to speed and steering. Since the deeper tread depth tires on the rear are gripping better than the worn front tires, the back of the vehicle does not lose control as it turns. The same is true for winter and studded tire installation. When winter or studded tires are only applied to the front axle of a vehicle, the chances of losing control when turning in wet or snowy conditions may significantly increase. Winter tires are best applied to all vehicle positions. If winter tires are applied to the front axle of any vehicle, they must also be installed on the rear. Additional disadvantages of only replacing two tires can be the inability to rotate because of tread depth variation and possible irregular wear development. Even with the best maintenance and rotation schedule, tires will eventually need to be replaced. By following the information on the vehicle's tire placard and in the owner's manual when selecting replacement tires, drivers can be confident that the best tires for the vehicle have been selected. And if the inflation pressure is regularly maintained and the tires are rotated every 5 to 7,000 miles, you can minimize your tire costs and maximize safety and performance in all driving conditions.